All right, in this video here, we're going to be solving proportions. Now, remember, proportions are two equal ratios. So, ratio here, ratio here, and an equal sign there. So, two equal ratios, that's what makes a proportion. So let's get into it. We're going to do a review of middle school type solving proportions here. So that's cross multiply and divide. So we're doing the, the cross multiply. That's going to be x times 64 makes 64x. And then 16 times 8 makes 128. Now divide by 64 to both sides. We have an x equals and then 128 divided by 64 makes 2. So we could also think, well, let's reduce this and make our work a little bit easier. So mental note, if you can reduce, please do. It'll make your life a little bit easier. So instead of 8 over 64, we can remove a factor of 8 or divide out an 8 from the 8 and the 64 makes 1 over 8. Now our work is going to be a lot easier. That's going to be 8x and then 16 times 1 is 16, 8x. Um, the other thing that we can do with these two is use what's called proportional reasoning. So we're trying to find x here. So we want to figure out 8 times what makes x. Well, we look down here. 64 times what equals 16? Well, it's actually a divide by 4 or a multiply by 1 fourth. So we can do that here. 64 divided by 4 is 16. So 8 divided by 4 makes 2. Even easier when it's already reduced. So in this case here, we have 8 times what makes 16? 8 times 2. So we do 1 times 2 to make x there. So that's using proportional reasoning. Another example here, we're just doing cross multiply and divide. So 2 times 101 makes 202. And then 11 times x, that's going to make 11x. And then we divide 11 to both sides to get x by itself. So that's going to be about 18.36. Most likely, you'll be using a calculator with this one. Now, we can estimate the solution using proportional reasoning. So we're looking here, 11 times what equals 101? Well, 11 times 9 is 99. So it's 11 times just over 9. So in this case here, we'll do 2 times just over 9. Well, 2 times 9 is 18. Well, we're doing just over 9. So it'll be just over 18. So 18.36 is the actual one. So because these don't go in evenly, we're going to end up with a decimal. So we can estimate using proportional reasoning. So here we go. We got 12 over x plus 6 equals 6 over 5. Cross multiply is the most direct first step. So here we go, 12 times 5 be 60, and then we're doing x plus 6 times 6. So here we go, that's going to be 6 times x plus 6. So these ones here, different than the easier middle school style ones, is we're going to do distributive property here. So we're still going to end up with the 60, and then we're going to go 6 times x makes 6x, and then 6 times 6 to make 36. This is the method that most people in Algebra 1 are going to do. I'll show you the other quicker one here in a second. So now we have a two-step equation. We want to get x by itself, so we're going to subtract the 36 and then divide by 6. So subtract 36, 60 minus 36 to make 24, 36 minus 36, no more 36s, just the 6x. And now we divide 6 to both sides, so 24 divided by 6 makes 4, and then 6x divided by 6, 6 over 6 is 1, x right there. So the other way of doing it is when you get to this step here, notice that the entire right-hand side is being multiplied by 6. The entire right-hand side and 6 divides into 60. So if that's the case, then the smart person is going to go ahead and divide 6 to both sides. So again, the whole right-hand side is being multiplied by 6, so we can divide 6 to both sides. And 6 divides into 60. So this will end up being a whole number. If this is not going to be a whole number, then doing it this way is going to be a lot easier. So this way works on pretty much all of them. This one works on like a specific case where this number here is divisible by this number here. And so we have 60 divided by 6 makes 10. And then these 6's become 1 
times x plus 6 just makes x plus 6. And now we subtract 6 from 10 to get 4. Now, again, we can still use proportional reasoning on these ones here. So if we look, we're trying to find this x here. So 6 times what makes 12? Well, 6 times 2 makes 12. So 5 times 2 is going to equal x plus 6. Well, 5 times 2 is 10, and that's going to equal x plus 6. Well, that brings us right down to this spot here. 5 times 2 is 10, and that's going to equal x plus 6. Why? Because 6 times 2 makes 12. So we can still use proportional reasoning at least to get to this step here. So solving 7 over 4 equals 14 over x plus 5. Here we go. We're going to start doing the cross multiply step. So we're going to have 7 times x plus 5. Looks like that. This is going to be parentheses style multiplication or distributive style multiplication. And then 4 times 14 is just regular multiplication multiplication. Now, you might need a calculator for this one. So next up, we can distribute if we want to. There's another way, a more direct way. I'll show you that in a second here. 7 times x is 7x, and then 7 times 5 is 35, still equals 56. Now we have just a regular two-step equation, subtract 35, and then divide by 7. So subtract 35 to both sides. 35 goes bye bye because it's subtracted from 35, makes 0 35s, just 7x there, 56 minus 35 to make 21. Next up, divide 7 to both sides. 7 over 7 is 1, x makes x, and then 21 divided by 7 to make 3 there. Now, the other way of going about doing this is noticing that this whole left hand side is being multiplied by 7, and 7 divides into 56. So let's do that first. We'll divide both sides by 7. So this way works whether it divides evenly or not. So this is the way you got to know how to do. And then this is a quicker way if this number divides into this number here. So 7 over 7 is 1 times x plus 5. 56 divided by 7 makes 8. And then we subtract 5 from 8 and we end up with x equals 3. Now, we can also use proportional reasoning on this one as well. So looking here, going from this ratio to this ratio, it's a multiply by 2. Check it out. We have 7 times what makes 14? Well, that's 7 times 2 makes 14. So multiply by 2. 4 times 2 is 8, and that's going to equal x plus 5. Well, here we go. 8 equals x plus 5. So we can go straight from here using proportional reasoning to this step right in here. So again, this ratio times what equals this ratio? Well, it's a times 2 because I'm comparing these two numbers here. So remember, when we solve proportions, cross multiply and solve, we'll work on all of them. And it's kind of the, the straight straightforward procedural way of doing it. Another way that you can do is using proportional reasoning. What do I have to do to this ratio to get this ratio here? And then do that and then solve from there. But either way, you're still going to have to do some solving. You can either distribute and then solve or you can look at dividing by the number that you're distributing by and then solving that way. It makes an easier equation. It's another way of doing it, assuming uh, the numbers divide evenly.